In this video, we're going to take a look at a 3-in-1 floodlight for your Blink camera. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel. So let's take a look at this new product that was sent out to me by Wasserstein. This is the floodlight with charger, and it's going to be compatible with your Blink X-T2 cameras. That's what I got here. And I've been using these for a while now. I did a previous review comparing this to the Ring. And one of the things I didn't like about the Blink cameras is the battery life. A lot of you guys know that it's recommended to use the lithium batteries. And with as much traffic as I got around my house, I'm constantly re changing these batteries out they don't last very long for me so what I did a while ago is I mounted this to my garage and I ran a USB cord to the back of this so I'd constantly get power to it but that's not always gonna be an ideal situation so this product's supposed to help solve that it's a floodlight so if you guys got any floodlights or porch lights or anything like that currently you can swap that out this is gonna be a floodlight but it also has a built-in charger for your Blink camera. According to the box, this is only compatible with the Blink X-T2, so I don't know if it's going to be compatible with the older model Blinks. But as you guys can see here, it's got two LED lights, and you're going to be mounting your camera on the bottom here. Here's the back of the box with some of the specifications. It does have a motion sensor built in, so when it detects motion within a 120 degree range, the LED lights will go off. And the max intensity of the lights is 2000 lumens, so pretty bright. And it's going to have a color temperature of 5500 to 6500K, so it's going to give you like that bluish light instead of the yellow light. Here's everything that comes in the box. Alright guys, so here's everything out of the box. This is everything that's going to come with your floodlight with charger. So here's your floodlight here as you guys can see. That's what it's gonna look like. Got your two floodlights. Here's your motion sensor in the middle there. These floodlights are, you can move these. Got a little tension knob here on the bottom. So you can loosen that and adjust it just like that. You can move it up and down. So tons of adjustability here. Obviously it's like that on both sides. All right, so here's where you're gonna mount your camera and this is also adjustable for height and then angle. Got a nice tension on there so it's not gonna flop around. Over on the side here is where you're gonna be able to plug in your USB cord, which is also provided. And that's going to run to your Blink camera and keep it powered. Here's your wiring. It's your normal wiring, nothing special. And that's going to be about it. It's got its name tagged on the top there. Nice unit. Feels like it's made out of an aluminum and a little bit of plastic. But it's got a nice weight to it. It looks pretty nice. Also, you get your gasket here. Get your insulation manual here. Here's the USB cord that they provide for you. And it's the waterproof kind so that's nice you don't have to provide your own got your hardware over here to mount it and then they also provide you with your blink camera snap-on mount so you guys can see here that's going to thread onto the floodlight and then your camera is going to snap on there anybody's familiar with these blink cameras on the back here that's how they get mounted. You just snap this on. 
like so. And then that's gonna mount to the front here. So I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, one of the downfalls with these Blink cameras is, for me at least, was the battery life. So this is gonna solve that. And it's gonna give me a motion floodlight. So that's pretty sweet. We'll go ahead and install this. And I'll show you guys what it looks like once installed. All right, so there's the bracket installed. Make sure you guys turn off the power and everything, obviously, and then test it to make sure there's no power. Go into your wires before you do this install. If you guys aren't comfortable with doing the install, maybe have an electrician come out or somebody that's uh, a little bit more familiar with the wiring process. Next thing you want to do is install your gasket there. The gasket hung over a little bit, so I went ahead and just trimmed it up just so it looks a little bit neater. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like mounted up. This is obviously without the camera mounted yet. As you guys can see there, I got the blink camera mount put on. All I got to do is snap on the camera and we should be ready to go. Here's a look at the USB end that goes into the camera. Nice sealed, waterproof connection there just like the connection up top here that goes into the floodlight all right guys so that's the final look of the install there that's what's gonna look like everything hooked up cameras mounted up there went ahead and kind of ran the wire around like that so it wouldn't be hanging just a little bit cleaner look other than that, that's what it's going to look like. I think it looks pretty good. Nice clean look. With the knob, and it does go up and down. I can adjust this to move it up. It's got a swivel ball right there. And then it does go few clicks up and also down go ahead and wait until it gets a little dark here we'll test out the floodlights and then uh, see how well that this camera gets powered on through this USB make sure there's no problems or anything test that out test out the motion sensor and I'll give you guys a final thought All right, so there's a look at my Blink app there. So that's the view I'm going to be getting with the floodlight Blink camera combo set up there. I'm going to go in, check the battery. You guys can see up here, battery says OK. So it is getting a charge. And I know this too because the batteries that I currently have in there are totally dead. So this wouldn't say okay if it wasn't getting some type of power input. So that seems to be working fine. Okay, guys, so there's what the 2000 lumens looks like on this floodlight. As you guys can see, brightens up my area back here pretty good. One thing to note, though, is I did notice, let's see if I can get a picture of this. that you want to make sure if you're coming around from the side here that one LED light I got kinda in the same view as the motion sensor 
so that's why it kind of the motion sensor is kind of blocked the way I got it set up right now so that's why it took so long to go off all right guys so my final thought on this floodlight setup here for the blink cameras now this does you can use any blink camera with this I did find out except for obviously indoor cameras they have to be all the outdoor cameras but all in all I think this is a great purchase for anybody that's invested in the blink camera system for outdoor security this is going to be a huge plus with the USB constant charging and if you already have a spot where you got a floodlight just replace the floodlight and you can adapt your blink camera to it I think this is awesome it's got the built-in motion sensor which works well really bright lumen LED lights as you guys can see there so thumbs up I really like this if you guys are interested in this product I go ahead and put an Amazon affiliate link in the description box click on that affiliate link it helps out the channel a lot I think these are going for around 60 bucks currently so hell of a deal I think you can go wrong great quality product it's really gonna step up your blink camera setup that you guys might have currently so I really like it if you guys got any comments questions put them below I'll do my best to answer those if you guys like this video hit that like button if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel hit that subscription button don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post my next video thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later